Hello YouTube and welcome back to my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, click the button, click the like, click the bell, follow me for more videos. I'm going to be showing you in this one how to fit your split charger. I've already fitted mine, so I'm just going to show you where I fitted it, how I fitted it and what route I used for the cabling. Um, so if you like the video, just hit the thumbs up button. Yeah. Let's crack on. I'm going to show you in here. Um, what I've done is obviously I've got the um, positive feed for the split charger connected to the positive side of the battery. Uh, in this little gizmo here is a 100 amp fuse. Um, I've gone in through this panel, um, drilled a hole. Uh, I've used this like wire um, keeper grouper, grouper together, whatever you want to call it. That's keeping all the wires together. And it goes through that panel and then inside here is a grommet. Um, I've got a little bit of excess cable in there um, just so it can move around. It's not, if, if it rubs, it's not going to rub on anything. Then it's got a bit of uh, movement in there. Uh, there's a little grommet. Uh, I can kind of point, but my finger are getting away, but it's kind of like, near there uh, that goes through into underneath here um, so obviously you can you can whip that out uh, there's a couple of bolts across the top uh, and you can just pop that out uh, I've run the cable uh, basically across there underneath it goes down behind the stereo it goes down behind the um, gear linkages and then it tucks in underneath the flooring runs down round here, round there, and then goes straight along here. And then, uh, it comes through this section here, comes to here, uh, you can just see, I'll try and peel that back. Uh, I just, I mean, I can catch a glimpse of it, but the light's not too great. It is literally just down there. Uh, oh, excuse me. All right, runs all the way along here round and underneath the B pillar, tucks up just in there. You can see it in the corner and then it runs up behind this board. And then this is obviously, well, I'm in the stages of building the kitchen. Um, comes out of the C pillar, I presume, and then runs round to the back and into the back here. So. I'll just pop this off. Oh. Okay, right, so your um, battery feed, your feed from your main battery comes into the split charger and the feed comes out. There's another 100 amp fuse in there and that goes to the positive side of the battery. Um, I have then got my earth coming off here. Um, there is a nice earth around the back here. Uh, which I think is for like the lighting inside uh, the interior and what have you. And I think it's probably uh, for the rear um, rear lights. If they need an earthing point, there's one literally um, just round this panel here. Uh, then I've got a earthing point to my bus bar, which then can be my main earthing point for everything else. Um, I've also put in a 50 amp fuse, which is in this little box here which goes to this uh, fuse box, which has got 10 um, contacts on it. So I can have up to 10 things, or I can have uh, space for lots of other bits and pieces, which is great. Obviously the split charger itself's got an earth and that runs to my main earth in bar two, but everything is earthed via the battery against the uh, body frame structure of the van running off my uh, leisure battery at the moment uh, is just uh, this panel here, uh, which has um, two USB power points. Uh, it has a 12 volt um, socket. Uh, and then I've got uh, five switches across the top. Uh, I've managed to fit in so far, just a couple of ceiling lights either side. Um, I've gone for the use of two switches. Um, so I can have like the kitchen area lit up or the door area lit up um, and then what I plan to do 
um, because I'm having my rock and roll bed and then I'm going to have like a pull out cooker and we'll act in this out just in this area here uh, I'm putting another switch with a light operated so obviously if you're cooking at night or it's dark um, you'll get a decent amount of light out of this so you can see what you're cooking so that's it for this video um, I just wanted to show you my split charge setup just a nice quick video um, just to keep in touch with you guys really um, I've got um, although it's a little late for the end of year 2019 but I've just got an end of year 2019 review coming up um, just of all the bits and bobs that I managed to do in 2019 um, with a little bit of jargon about what I plan to do in 2020. If you're subscribing to my channel, that's excellent. Thank you very much. I've nearly hit 100 subscribers, which I didn't really think would actually happen. Um, yeah, it's just another T5 channel. But I'm just trying to do some different videos or some of the same videos is fine It's obviously everyone has a different opinion on how they do stuff But if you've liked what you see and you follow me, that's fantastic. If you don't hit the subscribe button I'd like to try and hit maybe the 200 mark Maybe February March time. That's cool. I don't mind. It's a slow process But if you enjoy watching these videos, please like please subscribe comment below on anything you'd like to try and see me do to my van um, I have managed to get it as low as possible. I've had a lot of remarks on that. Um, just using the Stance Plus kit. But yeah, I quite like it. The ride's pretty nice. Um, so far it's been on there for about a month or so. And it's pretty cushy. But yeah, check y'all later.